If the police shoot a shotgun at, at short range and hit the heart, th this person will most likely go down right away, but it'll get the job done and, uh, you know, the, the gunfight will be over within 15 seconds. The shotgun and the handgun are the weapons of choice for short range fighting. But sometimes, law enforcement officials need long range firepower, and that means the rifle. The rifle is a very precise weapon. It allows us distance. In law enforcement, we want to create time, distance, and cover. We want to put something between us uh, and the threat. Uh, the rifle allows us to do that. The spiraled grooves in the barrel give a rifle bullet long-range accuracy. In the right hands, it can hit a target that the human eye only sees through the cross hatches of a high-powered telescopic sight. Some rifle bullets are deceptively small, just half the size and a quarter of the weight of a 45 caliber bullet, but three times more powerful because of their speed. The faster the bullet, the more energy it has, and more energy means devastating damage. Very effective, uh, far more effective than a handgun. A long range rifle bullet is as streamlined as possible to cut wind resistance and increase speed. The rifle barrel can withstand greater pressure than a handgun, so bullets contain more powder for a bigger explosion. Take a look. The handgun powder burns away quickly, but the rifle powder burns a lot longer. This longer lasting explosion gives much more energy to the rifle bullet. The final factor is the length of the barrel. The bullet spends more time inside a longer barrel and picks up more energy. More energy, more speed. More speed, much greater power. Power is the rifle's great asset, but that long barrel is a great disadvantage, especially when lawmen need surprise on their side. Dan Severn of the College Station SWAT team in Texas. The length of the weapon makes it a little difficult when we're searching a house. Uh, we don't want to give the bad guy notice that we're coming because uh, 16 inches of rifle barrel is sticking around the corner before we can see the bad guy. So the shorter weapon gives us the ability to put our eyes on the target at the same time the weapon comes on the target. A short barrel is the best tactical choice in close urban combat. But in a war zone, it's very different. For 40 years, the US military has used the 556 cartridge with the M16 rifle as its weapon platform. It has proved itself a winning combination of speed and power with an effective range of 900 to 3000 feet. But even it can't stop a truck with one shot. This weapon can. This is the 50 caliber rifle. The bullet's size and its explosive charge, twice as big as a bullet from the M16, makes this one of the most powerful rifles today. It's handheld artillery, and so powerful that from one and a half miles away, it hits with nine times more energy than the wallop of a 44 Magnum fired at point blank range. So what can these monster bullets do? From 50 yards away, the 50 caliber bullet smashes through three tanks. This round will penetrate one inch of armor plating from a distance of 200 yards. If the 50 caliber hits your torso or head, you'd be dead. We have bullets of nearly every size and design. But how do bullets perform their deadly task? What's the science of a bullet's impact on a human body.
So far, we've seen the tremendous stopping power of the hollow point bullet, the devastating short range brute force of the shotgun, and the astounding capabilities of the high powered rifle round. Most bullets are designed to stop a human, creating the most devastating wound possible. So what kind of ammo does what kind of damage to the human body? To see how bullets injure bodies, we employ the science of wound ballistics. A bullet striking the human body causes two main types of damage. Handgun bullets traveling at lower speeds will create what is called crushing injury. The bullet punctures the skin, crushing the tissue, and creating a wound channel as the bullet tunnels through the body. If you took a small cube of a piece of steak, put it on an anvil, and pounded it with a heavy hammer, you would, you would have a, a mushy liquid tissue. That's what tissue becomes from the crush mechanism. By projecting pictures of actual wound paths onto a human body, Dr. Fackler pinpoints exactly what damage bullets cause. A 45 round nose bullet fired from a handgun creates this wound. It penetrates deeply, but leaves minimal crushed tissue in its wake. Switch to a hollow point from the same handgun, and the wound is very different. It hasn't penetrated as far, but has dumped all its energy in the body. There's far more tissue destruction. You can see the marked contrast in the size of the hole because the bullet has mushroomed and doubled its diameter. Handgun bullets travel at about the speed of sound. Rifle bullets up to three times faster. And that means more damage on the receiving end and more work for trauma surgeons like Dr. Wang. A single uh, shot to the arm by a high velocity bullet will mean the bone will be broken to the point where often require amputation to salvage the arm, or salvage the life of the, the victim itself. Handgun, it will just passes through and usually just a little bit of muscle tear. A rifle bullet packs so much force that it can kill without piercing flesh. Even with the correct protective headgear, just a glancing blow by high velocity bullet can lead to coma and death. The rifle bullet creates a devastating type of wound. This is called a temporary cavity. It's the same thing as a dropping a stone into a pool of water, you see a temporary splash. We have what we call the temporary cavity, which is nothing more than a splash in tissue. On impact, the splash creates a hollow space 30 times the size of the bullet. Take it up another level. A close-up blast from a shotgun loaded with buckshot. It tears the body apart. What this shows is that they would almost all be uh, contained in the chest. Each one of these buckshot makes a separate path through tissue, and all the paths are very close to one another, and they just tear, sort of make hamburger of the tissue. I don't think a wound of this type would be survivable.